Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about this guy right here to my left. This is the Acoustic Shield 32. This item is something that's sort of new on the internet and or new in the industry of home recording. Um, you know, probably like me, you've been searching and looking and seeing them online and wondering, you know, does it really work? Well, you're going to find out today. Um, so, first off, this is by CAD Audio. Obviously, I'm going to get the CAD one because I'm a gigantic CAD fan. And um, it's, you know, real quick, it's a very nicely built thing, well constructed, with high quality, high density acoustic foam inside of it. Now, you should notice that the audio on this video sounds like shit. And that's because I'm standing in my kitchen. I really wanted to give you guys a demo that was like the most extreme case. Actually, I've been trying to make this video for a few days and it's kind of been a pain because when I do it in a, in a small room, like I don't really feel like the difference is that, like I don't think a lot of people would actually hear it, like, you know, coming through YouTube and iPhones and all that kind of stuff. So I'm trying to give you the best possible chance to hear this um, on whatever device you're listening to it through by choosing the worst sounding room in my house. Um, so, the, you know, this is my kitchen, the set of the real Italian kitchen, and um, it's a very live sounding room. I mean, it's, you know, super roomy sound. Um, so, what you're going to do is listen for the room sound and how it changes with and without the Acoustic Shield. It's a subtle difference, but we'll talk about that after the demo, which we're going to go do right now. One, one. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. There you go, there's the demo. Um, so what you should have heard is the difference in the room sound when it was coming back to the microphone, because it does indeed, you know, there's still sound coming back this way off of the opposite wall. So what you should have heard when it's coming back um, is that it's a lot darker. That room reverb sound is, a lot of the high end is removed, and that's really one of the main components when you're listening back in a mix or something and you hear that room sound, the high end of any like room natural reverb, that's always going to be the part of that sound that sort of cuts through in your mix and is usually the part of it that you're like, Ugh, I really wish I could get rid of that. Um, this definitely helps fight that section of a room's natural reverb on its return to the microphone. The other thing you should have heard uh, is that in general I think it sort of made the microphone a little darker. Um, which I think a lot of you would like. Um, I think, you know, it, I don't know why, it just does. It just makes it darker. You know, I could definitely hear it in the guitar and the voice, both of them. Everything I've tried to record with this on there, I've always felt it's a little darker. Um, and I think that's cool. Now, again, remember, this is the room that I'm demoing this in is very large with a large reverb problem. Most of you are going to obviously be in bedrooms or, you know, whatever small office space you have. So you're going to have much smaller acoustic issues. Um, this is going to make a big difference in a room like that. You know, uh, if you're like, oh, I just wish I could get rid of some of that, you know, whatever sound that's an issue, you know, I would definitely experiment with this in your room. Um, and I, I have done that and that's why I put it where it is right now. Uh, this is the corner where not only did I feel like I was getting the best tone for stuff, but it was uh, also just, it was making the biggest difference over here. So that's another th thing to do if you get this. Just play with it, try to figure it out. Um, I will say it's constructed very nicely, the hardware and stuff, the adjustability, I can change its height up and down like this, and 
uh, back and forth this way so you can change its proximity to the microphone, which is very cool, I think. And then, you know, overall just nicely made CAD Audio, what can you say? So, that's it, you guys. Check out CADAudio.com for all the specs. Please look up the prices um, yourselves because I don't know what it's going to cost in your part of the world. Sorry. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Later.